if you're outside and look up at the sky, the chances are you're going to see clouds. Some are big, white, fluffy ones like cotton wool hanging from the sky, while others are dark and grey and bring rain, drizzle, even snow, the sort of weather you definitely don't want to be stuck outside in. And did you know all those different types of clouds have got different names? But how do you tell one from another? And how are they formed in the first place? In this film, we're going to answer those two questions and show you how to spot some for yourself. All clouds form in the same way. How high they are in the sky and the conditions up there will determine what the cloud looks like. It all starts when heat energy causes water molecules from rivers, ponds, lakes or oceans to evaporate into the air. This moist air rises and expands as it gets higher into the atmosphere, where the pressure is lower than down here. As the air rises, it cools, changing into very small water droplets that form into clouds. But the conditions have got to be spot on. The temperature's got to be right, and there's got to be something for the water to hold on to, such as particles of dust, salt or smoke. If neither of these conditions is right, then the cloud just won't form. Once the water droplets are big enough, they fall to earth as rain back into oceans, lakes, rivers and ponds, and the whole cycle starts again. So, that's how clouds form, but how can you tell one cloud from another? Although all clouds start in the same way, there are a number of factors that will determine what they look like and what sort of weather they'll bring. There are three basic types of cloud, stratus, cumulus and cirrus. Stratus is a particularly featureless cloud. Fog, for example, is stratus on the ground. It's normally associated with coasts and mountains and is one of the lowest forming clouds. Bringing with it dampness and drizzle, it's a pretty miserable thing. Cumulus are one of the commonest clouds. They're the ones that form on sunny days with flat bottoms and tops that look like cauliflowers. They normally form over land and are known as fair weather clouds, but beware, some cumulus can develop into threatening thunderstorms with sudden downpours. So if you see these guys before midday, be prepared for some rain. There's a nice little rhyme you can help remember this with. In the morning mountains, in the afternoon fountains. The final type of cloud to look out for is cirrus. They're the highest forming cloud in our atmosphere. The word cirrus is Latin for lock of hair, and these are the clouds that cover the sky with wispy threads. But why do they look like this? Why aren't they puffy like normal clouds? Well, high up there, it's so cold that cirrus clouds are formed from ice crystals rather than water droplets. As the ice forms, it falls to earth and is whipped up by really strong winds, and the clouds fall in streaks. They look like they're not moving at all, but of all clouds, cirrus move the fastest. They're also really useful for telling that there may be a change in the weather to come. So if you see cirrus clouds, be prepared for a possible storm. When you look up at the sky, you're not just going to see one cloud by itself, but normally many different types of cloud all at the same time. Stratus, cumulus and cirrus are the three main types, but in reality there are loads of different sorts of clouds to spot. You can download the cloud spotting guide from the Met Office website, which will tell you all about all these different types of cloud and how to find them for yourself. So next time you're out and about, look up in the sky and see what you can find.